what's up, y'all? Welcome to game day. It's y'all and me. It's us solo today. That's it. Uh, so, Shipyard, much like last night, but just me. Well, us. Again, we're playing a solo today. So, designed by Vladimir F Suhi. Suchi? Su anyway, Vladimir. Uh, published but originally by Delicious Games. Uh, also, here in the States, Rio Grande Games. They're a partner of ours, so this one's sponsored and provided a copy by Rio Grande. So thanks to Jay and everybody over at Rio Grande. Now, it's sponsored, but this game's 15 years old. It's a new edition. It's got a new lacquer, new layer of paint. It's the same game. It's 15 years old. It's one of my all-time favorites. I've never played it solo, uh, because to the best of my knowledge, the base game, the original, not the base game, the first edition didn't have a solo, I don't think, or at least I wasn't playing solo games back in the day. And so now that I am, I know that there is a solo because it says solo. So that said, I mean, we're, we're going to talk about this afterwards. I mean, we covered pretty much everything last night uh, in the multiplayer, but for those of y'all that are just joining us today, welcome. Hopefully, uh, hang out, spend the afternoon with me. Uh, shouldn't shouldn't be a terribly long stream because the AIs are very easy to run, it looks like. So, without further ado, if y'all are ready, I'm ready. Let's get to it, shall we? There we go. This looks a lot like last night, except for this. The cool thing about this, so we have the, uh, you know, the parts that you put together, right? By the way, if you uh, just got a copy of this. I definitely recommend going and watching a couple of the first few minutes of the stream last night uh, so that uh, the little the little extra pieces like things that it doesn't isn't super clear is I think in our video so definitely recommend that. But uh, the solo board which really it's just a holding spot for that and then a player order but that is actually the cover for that. It's on the back side, so that's what that is. There we go. Put that right back there. All right. Uh, what color do we have it? We have it that way. All right, we'll go there. All right. So we have my board. We have the action selection mechanism here. We have five cubes here because it's effectively set up as a, sorry, three-player game. And we have the solo stuff. We have us in the two automas. And then everything else is set up just like normal. So we have the canals, we have the commodities, we have the bows, the sterns, and the middles. And then, uh, honestly, these show up better. So those instead of cubes, so that y'all can see. And those were legitimately just randomly put out there. There. So there you go. All right. Cool. All right. Oh, I suppose I ought to put that on zero. And that can hang out until we get our first canal. All right, so we need to shuffle up. Now, the 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 contract that I feel is... I'm not going to use the term broken, but feels a little, eh, you know, in here. It's in there. So if we draw it, we draw it. So we're going to draw three each. Shuffle these up. How's everybody doing out there today? This is the penultimate stream before uh, I take off to Fort Circle DC Con down in DC. Looking forward to that. So, all right. So we will go three there. These are removed. Okay. And then we will shuffle these. How many of y'all out there have not played Shipyard at any player count? How many of y'all out there have never played the solo, but are curious about it? Well, obviously, if you're curious about it, I assume y'all are watching. So, there's that. All right. So, we will cut these. We'll go a thin cut there, there, and we will get three of those. Now, I'm going to do this like I do most solos. I'll give an overview for those of y'all that are... Uh, hold on one second. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. That's better. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll give an overview. I assume most people are familiar with Shipyard. Normally I would, I should say, but last night showed me that that's not necessarily the, the case. So here we go. Uh, the game 
So, victory point track, around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. The goal of the game, in the solo, it has three levels. 60, 80, and 95 plus. My goal is to shoot for the 80, which is experience engineer, solid outcome. I'm happy with that. That's what we're going to call a victory today. All right. We have two AIs. Uh, all Literally, all they are are cubes. To, I don't... And they're, they're cubes out here. Like, literally, that's all they do. So they're going to get in our way, take actions, and make things disappear. That's that's kind of a Suchi solo, right? Uh, how the bots work. Which means they're super simple. And the solo have these numbers on one side and then actions on the other side. So we'll shuffle these up. And I'll teach that as we go. But in a given turn, how this is going to work is the the... Active player, me, uh, gets to choose one of these. And then once these are out here, so let's say the AI chose those actions. Then after that, the very first thing that's going to happen, there we go, we'll cut, there we go, there and there, is this will actually, tile will move over to the end, slide, and you'll notice that this little thing, uh, if you're familiar with Prague, I can put Regni, this cube will fall in, there's a hole about right there, in that and when it drops down we're going to take one of these out keep going we will alternate actions doing the exact same thing you just cannot select the same action that you just removed now i got to remember where the heck i took that from uh let's see that goes back that goes back that goes back i think it was right there let's call it there that's fine uh the two dollar two gilder coin is only available in the four player game uh, yeah, so you take an action, you start with six guilders, and at any point before or after your turn, you can pay six guilders to take any of the available actions. The only one you are not allowed to take is the action you just selected, so you can't double up the same action. I will go over what the various actions are, but we're going to rinse and repeat going in this order until the last cube is removed. This pivots all the way around and it falls in. Everybody will take the same number of turns. Then I and I alone, not the AI, will take one final action choosing any of these, but we are not allowed to buy a additional bonus action with that. Then after we have taken our bonus action, if we can buy a single ship piece out here to complete a ship. We then can do so, send it on a shakedown cruise, which is one of the two predominant ways we're going to score points. Then we go into final scoring. Final scoring is only for us with a goal of, again, 60, 80, 95 points. Okay? Cool? Cool? Cool. All right. So let's, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take a look at what ones we drew for endgame. Now, we do not have to worry about getting rid of these. We're going to score one red, we're going to score one blue at the end of the game. But we don't have to decide until later. But, you know what? That's fine. Alright. So those are the blue ones. We did not get the quote-unquote broken one. Okay. This is interesting. Huh. Okay, we'll start with the red ones. Okay, we're going to be able to score one of these bad boys. For every, every ship that when we launch has six pieces, if we have three of those, they'll be worth 17 points at the end of the game. It, every ship has five pieces in it, so a bow, a stern, and three middles, in that case, or bow, stern, and four middles. Uh, if we get four of those, that's worth 22 points. And here, every two green or gray of the employees. The employees are these tiles, they're little uh, rule breaker tiles there. For each one of those colors, they will score three points apiece for every pair, sorry, or for every two that are the red, the yellow, or the blue, will score four points apiece. So to be able to equal 22 points, that we would need to launch four or five size ships of any speed, of anything, uh, every ship must have a captain. Every ship must have a canal on which to be able to uh, run our shakedown crews. But to be able to do that, 22 points, that is, let's say, three, 
To get 21, we would need 10 tiles. Plus, you're going to score other things for the shakedown. It, like, this just feels not good. So, here. That one's not going to get chosen. And you know what? I prefer to try and ship out four ships. Four size five. That's likely the one we're going to choose. Okay? Now, for the others. This one says... For every, not captain, they are captains, but captains that are in cabins on ships are worth three points. I can do a lot of those. So if we get, but the thing is, every ship must have a captain. Any additional captains are first mates or first officers, and they must have cabins. Uh, the captain itself does not. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. So that, that's tempting. Uh, for every pair of soldiers and cannons on a ship, three points. Again, soldiers need a cabin. Uh, cannons need cannon mounts. And for every two smokestacks that are on a ship, score three points. So I'll be honest. That's going to be. So it's either going to be this and one of those, probably. Okay. Okay. Good to know, Chris. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. So there you go. That's what we're looking at probably to start. So I'm just going to keep these kind of up here as a reminder for us. And again, just no. And this is this is our one critique of the game is these don't feel equal. So no, that's not happening. 17 points versus 22. It's a six, five. I like being able to ship out for his ship. So I don't want to do that one. And this one just seems just harder than those so no all right all right so with that said we have kind of gotten an idea on what we're going to do for our end game goals there now we just gotta work to that so now these will come out so yellow pink purplish and blue all right so we take our first turn our first turn is going to be Oh, by the way, over under glory to Rome's one and a half, two and a half, two and let's go two and a half. Uh, and are we going to succeed at 80 points? Yes or no? That's place your bets now. Okay. So of the available actions, um, well, we know, we know we need a size five ship. Getting captain seems good. And also... Let's look at the employees over here. So we, we either need captains. Did I? Captains? What are those? Captains or smokestacks. So looking at where these are. This started here. So let's see. Extra smokestacks are here. Extra cabin or captains are there. That's not really convenient. Okay. Placing two smokestacks without having mounts on them. That'd be three points. Every ship. So realistically, going off of assuming I'm going to get out four ships. Every ship should have two smokestacks on it. I'm going to shoot for that. So that would be 12 points. That would be a total of eight captains. I feel like the smoke, I feel like that is probably where we're going to end up. So with that said, I want smokestacks. I want smokestacks without having to worry about mounts. That seems kind of good to get right off the bat. And it's free. So let's go ahead and choose that as our first action. So we are going to choose the employees and the employees are that is that action right there. So we come over. How this works is the employees, this will advance one automatically. I could pay an extra dollar or gilder to advance it another step if I wish. And then they are all free to take unless it has that red or bordered gilder on it. Then you must pay a dollar. But as it is, I like that one. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take that one. So that employee will go there. Meaning the first two 
Smokestacks that go onto a ship don't need a mount. You might be asking yourself, if you are unfamiliar with this game, what does a mount look like? A mount looks like that for a smokestack. How do we know that? Well, I'm glad you asked that too. Because if you look at the, at the artwork on that, here, I'll do it this way. You'll see that a smokestack goes right on and it looks just like that. Okay. Also, sails have the same artwork. So, sails and smokestacks. Same mounting point. These are for cranes. These are for cannons. These are cabins for crew that aren't stokers. Stokers are these. Uh, if you are familiar with the first edition and not the second edition, the difference between a stoker and a propeller is nothing. Except stokers need propeller mounts, a.k.a. stoker uh, cabins, which are always on the stern, and they're the gray ones. Stokers, stokers are not allowed to go into regular because, again, they're effectively propellers. So keep that in mind, okay? If you're familiar with the first edition. All right, there we go. So that was our action. Now, pink will take their action. So, how does this work? We're going to, we've already shuffled these, you all saw, we, we, uh, we sh uh, bleh, shuffled and cut. So now, it is going to take a commodity tile. All it's going to do is get in my way. Okay? So now, I believe this one is, it's going to take a commodity tile. It has to do with the number that is showing here, which is number two. If it uh, were a zero, it would be whatever number is in the bracket, but there isn't one. And this is pretty straightforward. This says uh, zero removes the first tile or row. For ship pieces, it removes an entire row. But a one is the second tile, and two is the first of the last two rows. So the first of the last two rows meaning these, the first one, it's going to get rid of that one. So this is removed. We will slide that over. And then, using a handy dandy little refill guy here, we will take the top one there and go right there. Boom, done. That's Pink's turn. And now, I mean, this is, this is obviously very simple. Canal, it will choose the first one. But the first one again, zero and then the first one so it'll choose this this or this effectively so it chooses that one that one is again removed coming over to the refills i'm just gonna go ahead and put that like that there we go we will grab this the slide down oops there we go done uh, oh I also have to remember to move them here. It's not just that, I apologize. So pink chose the commodities and blue chose the canals. Okay, now that we have all placed on here, now effectively the game begins. So how this works, when it, this is the rare occurrence when somebody will choose the last one at the very beginning of the game, this will actually come up this will pivot one spot and then this will go down again otherwise you can't choose the last one that goes here and it will automatically slide but again because i chose that one it's a bit of a wonky but that's how it works so now i can choose any one but that that or that uh you know what i hear we need captains so let's go ahead and do this so I'm going to place here. When I place, the first thing I do is I look behind me, or to the right, how many cubes are to the right of me? The answer is two. I get a dollar per uh, cube that is further to the right. So I get two bucks like that. And then that in the middle, and that says, hey, the middle has pictures of all the crew. These are crew, the things outside here our employees. I understand that's a little harder, you know, parse, but just take my word for it. And remember, stokers are propellers. 
But anyway, we advance this one and we get whatever that covers. That's going to be O oh, Captain, my captain. Every ship must have a captain. Every ship must have a canal to go on a shakedown cruise. And, you, you know, you got to have ship pieces, a bow, a stern, and at least one middle. So minimum ship size is going to be three. So that is the turn of the yellow player. It is now pink's turn. So the first thing that's going to happen, again, is we're going to lift that there. We're going to slide that over. And now what action do they choose? We come over here to the AI. We flip this tile. And this is going to be to uh, manufacture equipment, I believe is the technical term. This says move it zero, or in this case, move it one space. You don't actually have to get rid of anything. But before we do any of this, we got to remember to put the cube on here. This is the easiest thing I'm realizing to forget, or easiest thing to forget, yeah. Now, they would get a dollar, but again, all they're doing is getting in our way, you know, all of that stuff. The rest of it doesn't matter. So they are going to advance this one space there, and they don't actually get it done. That was pink, and now it's blue. So blue will again here move that out of the way that will slide and when this gets all the way over here it will drop in and it's a reminder to remove one of those this one says put it on the leftmost tile whatever that is and execute that action so in this case i would argue Notice those are all face up. This one is unavailable to us. We can't choose that. So I'm going to argue that that is the first available one. Okay. So now they're going to remove an entire row of ship pieces. What row? This is going to be the first row not the zero, but the first of this. So all of these are going to go away. So that is bow, stern, and those two middles. Now I'm going to keep these organized so I don't mess this up. And then everything slides down. We get a new bow, a new stern, and also, here, we'll actually do it this way. You'll see that there are bows, sterns, ones, and twos. All the ones. And it probably is smart to, like, set these aside, the twos, so you don't accidentally grab them. Once all the ones are empty, then the twos come into play. So we'll do like that. So that goes there. That goes there. We have refilled. And that was blues action there. All right, good. Oh, that makes sense. Are you following Had the flow of how this works? So we have a captain. We, uh, we don't have to worry about mount points for the, uh, for the smokestacks. Um, I really want this, but that's going to cost me three bucks. It's tempting. Just because I really, really want that. So first things first, that goes there, that slides. What action? I, I so let me walk through why I want to do this so bad. I want this here. It's going to cost me a buck, so it will advance one, and then it will cost me two more. I mean, anytime I take any of these in the middle, gets me a smokestack. And regardless of what I take, I also get a smokestack. And if I get that, which it's primed to get right now, I would get two smokestacks. So that seems pretty good. I, I am really, really partial to that. And again... It fits what our goal is going to be there. So, you know what? I think I just bite the bullet and do it. 
So I will because the AI has not chosen that action yet. So I want to block that because I wouldn't be able to take it. They've already taken that action. Yeah, I think so. I, I think it makes sense. So it advances one. We can pay an additional two guilders to go there and a guilder for that. That's going to be a total of three guilders, leaving me with five. That's okay. We will take that. Done. Again, because of kind of where the direction we're, we're headed to go here, kind of makes sense to go ahead and do that, I think. All right. Now it is Pink's turn. There. And... They will choose a crew and they will advance it two spaces. One, two, taking a smoker. Okay, done. And that was the crew space there. Blue. Employee. They cannot take that action because we are there. So therefore, we draw another tile. And they will sell a commodity. So they will go onto that action. And now, the commodities themselves, you are not allowed to advance to pay more. So when you sell a commodity, it just goes to the next spot. You cannot pay to advance it more spots. So that's the one exception on those various rondelles. Okay. So that was Blue's action. And obviously, if you run out, you then shuffle. Okay. So it's now our turn. I mean, ship pieces are available, but the obvious thing, I think, to me is, okay, we got that to be able to get extra smokestacks. So why don't we, uh, why don't we go ahead and do that? So we come over here to that to manufacture and we get a smokestack and again because we have that tile right there we get a smokestack whenever we take manufacture any equipment just so happens it's a second smokestack so you know what i'm tired of reaching for this i'm just going to put this closer to me we're going to grab a couple smokestacks awesome dylan that's us it is now pink's turn I don't know what that is. Let's find out. Is that ship pieces? Yeah, that's build ship pieces. All right. So for this one, it is going to move an entire row, right? Is it ship pieces, right? Yeah, it's got to be build ship pieces. It will do the zero, which is the cheapest one. So it will get rid of these. Again, trying to make this easier for me, keep them organized. That was pink. So now we must shuffle for blue's turn. It's pretty straightforward, yeah? It's pretty easy. All right, Kyle, I see you. Said over on the glory to Rome's, but not succeed. No. Brianna, under and yes to success. That's what I'm saying. All right, we will cut there. There we go. All right, Blue's turn. Did we? Nope, we didn't. Hold on. Again, this is the easiest thing to forget. So blue, only in the solo because I'm doing it for three people and I'm focused on this. So, all right, so now we're good. Now blue's turn. They will uh, hire employees. It will advance one step. So they will hire employees and advance one step. Whoop. Done. All right, back to our turn. Uh, let's see. 
So we don't care about our speed. We just care a size five ship that has a lot of smokestacks. Okay. Uh, that's actually pretty good. We get six, that, and then, huh. Then pay and get two more. That seems not terrible. Is it worth paying the $3? I think it is. Yeah, let's. Oh, the other idea is that. We are coming up. Nah. No. All right. There. So we have five bucks. We can't take an extra action yet, but I think we will. I'll explain how. So we are going to sell commodities. We are going to sell our only commodities that we have. So this will advance to this spot. I'm just going to move it right there and put that right there for y'all. So now when you sell commodities, you can always get the price in guilders for that. Or you can exchange it instead of money. You can get whatever the thing is. So the thing here in this case, coal is either a smoker or a smokestack. I will go ahead and get one smokestack. Now, even though I have this employee that gives me an extra smokestack, that's only when you manufacture goods, not when you're selling commodities, but I'll still go ahead and take the smokestack. So I did that. Now, if I was turning in this one instead that gave me two coal, what I cannot do is I cannot get two smokestacks. However, what I am allowed to do is I could sell both for cash. That would be a buck a piece. Or I could get one smoker and one smoke stack, or I could get one of those and sell one. But you cannot get two of the same thing, even if, uh, if your commodities uh, show multiples on the same tile. So keep that in mind. So I got a smoke stack, and then for the other ones, I think for let's see, I need to move it three. That would be eight. I'd be a dollar short. I will sell the other two for cash, which will get me six guilders. And then this will go away. So that is six bucks. So now the question is, do I take the extra action? Blue's going to move, get me an employee, and the employee for captains. I don't think I need that as much. I think I'm going to sit tight. I want to take another action because I have six bucks available to me, but I elect not to. So pink, now we'll take their turn. All right, now notice uh, a couple of things. First off, let me put that there so I don't lose my spot and also you may notice I cannot move this why because the cube has fallen in so this will go out there we will then slide this and now you'll notice that that hole is now covered and then you will take the rightmost and put it back in there we are one sixth of the way through the game when this cube gets removed, so when the next one falls in, at the end of that turn, we're going to get rid of one of each of our endgame goals. So we could always revisit and see the direction we're going, but I feel pretty secure in the direction we're heading. So Pink's action now is choose the leftmost available action there. Okay. Leftmost available action is get a commodity tile. And the second one, which is going to be that one, remember it's that, that, or that. So that one goes away. That slides, refill, and done. Now it's Blue's turn. They will take a canal and the second one. So that is going to be here. That goes away. 
that will slide, refill, but I don't want to forget, this is blue. There we go. And blue took a canal, and that'll go there. All right, excellent. I was hoping they would take some crew. They did not. I mean, we could take some ship pieces. It's our turn. Um, there is a blue ribbon out there. I don't need the mounts, right? So, lights, life preservers, blue ribbon. Blue ribbon is speed. And if I'm worried about speed, then I want a smoker. Stoker, sorry. Oh, interesting, Shrey. Six versus seven actions. All right. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I mean, cranes aren't bad, but I don't need them. That's the thing. Do I just strictly stay focused on the goal and just only work towards our goal of those? I mean, if I'm going to hit 80, I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. And I don't care about mounts. That's the kicker, is at least, or so I could get a speed of five, or I don't worry about canals, and I just get those size five ships. Yeah, let's get some ship pieces. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Yes, Kyle, exactly. Um, all right, so we don't need mounts. So we don't really care about those things. So what I'm doing is I'm actually looking at the canals. Lifeboats, preserver, safety is what this canal is worried about. That has cannons and cranes and lamps. The blue rebond is a nice one because you get extra points for when you hit that spot, but then you're worried about speed. Speed means you then need a stoker's cabin. And that has, my, you know what? I think we still go for this one if we can. So we're looking at military stuff Blue Ribbon, uh, which is speed, and uh, and lanterns. So, I mean, that speed and a cannon mount, tempting. Um, the, the other... Lantern spots are this and this, but that's getting expensive. I think I'm okay with spending two bucks for that. But then, you know what? Let's go ahead and take the freebies. There we go. We'll take those. So the total cost there is two, zero, zero. So that's not 200, that is... Two bucks. Getting three back. There we go. We have, once we've placed them, we cannot move them. I'm okay with that. Yeah, done. So then, if we can get some, if we can get some cannons, make use of that. What's up, Jason? Welcome. All right, so that's our action. Pink's move. Oops. 
they are going to go ahead and take a commodity, the first one, or second as it were. So there's that. That one goes away. Slide, refill. And now blue. Taking ship pieces. He can't, because I did that. So we choose different action. All right, he'll hire some crew. There. And it will advance one space. Whoop, taking some business people. All right, done. Back to us. So I'm looking at employees right now. So these. I mean, we're going on to this cannon thing. Do we bother getting extra cannons? I mean, they're two points a piece. Really, three points a piece on that tile. That means whenever we get a cannon, we get a smokestack. Whenever we get a smokestack, we get a cannon. That's not really bad. And it would cost us two bucks, three bucks. But we get a buck. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We will take an employee. That's free. One, two bucks we owe. And then we owe another buck because the employee costs a buck on that. So there we go. Let's take that one. Oh, and we get a dollar because we're ahead of him. So there's that. Now we have six bucks. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now we only need one captain. Nah. So probably gonna need a total of four captains. I think that's okay. Um... No, we're going to stay on target. That's us. And I don't think we take an extra action right now. If y'all will excuse me for just two seconds, I will be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Why not? All right, that was quick. That was easy. See? All right. Okay, cool. All right, Pink's turn. And Pink will sell commodities. And they will advance it one step to there. There we go. All right, so that's pink. Now it's blue. There we go. And blue will hire employees. And it will advance one. Oh, Captain, your Captain. Done. I'll go ahead and shuffle these now. So, yeah, this is, this is really simple. Like running these AIs, this is stupid simple. This is good. It's just about maximizing my ability to do well, hopefully, right? And just focus on my own game, which is nice, I think. Cut there, there we go. All right, so our turn, there. Uh, we do need canals. I mean, we're kind of looking at that one. I don't want to manufacture equipment until they pushed it a little bit i would like to wait on that canal i mean i can't get any extra money from them for things i don't want to buy more ah, oh you know what i totally forgot about this i apologize y'all need to re help remind me refill ships or whatever it is i forgot to refill 
So there's that. And that, okay. So that is the canal I'm working towards, right? So you know what? Do we go ahead and just... Take it? Um, that's a wheat. And a cloth. That's five bucks. That's five bucks. You know what? We're going to need money at some point, so we'll go ahead and just take a commodity, and we'll take the freebie. I'm fine with that. So we'll take that free commodity. That will slide. That will move over. Hey, you. Hi. Hi. Come here. Have a seat. Look who it is. Hello. Here's somebody y'all haven't seen in, I don't know, forever. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How was, how was school? It was amazing. Yeah. She, she chaperoned like a school art thing. Yes. This is a school art thing, and Scott, all these band things that you've been going to. Yes. He did a huge grand finale with the marching band, and every kid in that audience was like, I'm joining marching band. <laughs> That's amazing. Awesome. It was that all great. right. Nice. So how are we doing? Uh, we are, I think, doing okay. Uh, we, we've been given a direction to go, so now it is Pink's turn, so Pink will go there, and Pink will take their action. They are cannot hire crew because blue is already there, so they will go somewhere else. They will, I'm sorry, manufacture equipment. They will hire crew there, and it will advance one step, so that will move to there. All right, that was pink. Now it's blue's turn. Blue will advance. Oh, it just hit, so there's that. That will, and it will do the far left action. They will take a canal. It'll be the second one, which will be this one. Phew. Not the one we wanted. <laughs> that will go there. That will go there. And now that will go away. It is our turn. That will pivot. And now we need to put another cube pivot. in. Now when, yeah, pivot. Uh, you'll notice we just crossed that line. So we have to get rid of one and one, but again, We've kind of already made our decision here on what we're doing. So we're getting rid of, just in case we change our mind on that. But a soldier, eh, you know what? No. We'll get rid of the one that I think is way underpowered and the captain one. Those are gone. We have discarded. We've done that. Good. Done. It is our turn. We can choose any of these actions. Uh, they did not make this cheaper for us. They, we could get some money, we could sell the commodity, we could buy ship pieces and we get a buck if we do that, but I don't think we're in a good position for that. Uh, let's go ahead and stay on target and sell and we'll get two bucks and some stuff that we need. So yeah, all right, so commodity there. We will advance that to there. We are selling those commodities. So that is cloth, but instead of the three bucks, I'll go ahead and take a cannon. And then we have two wheat. I'll take a, a captain. Oh, captain, your captain. So captain and a cannon. So there's those. And then for the other wheat, we'll take two bucks. Done. Now, the question is, do we take another action yet? So let's, let's think about this. I don't know. Yay, see? There you go. <laughs> well, it's no longer okay, I quit. Yet. No longer. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> All right, there you go. Ruined it. You just going to hang out? Yeah. All right, awesome. All right, cool. All right, good deal. Um, I should scoot over then. Okay. So I, I think I'm on. Well, sort of. What am I doing? I'm hitting something. There's nothing there. Stop, stop, stop. I might hit. Yeah, you go. just hold on. All right, we're good. You, you. you are safe now. There we go. All right. There we go. Uh, I lost my train of thought. You throw me, mm -hmm. making me all flustered mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Um, they, oh, the oh, AI asking, sent you. Yeah, it's the AI. Oh, <laughs> okay. I got a beacon. It said, please come. It's right. doing too well. Right. So do we want to buy another action? Uh, what would we do? The employees moving that around. Do we want to, we get to, no, smoker. I mean, we do need smoke. Ooh. I don't need a lot of smokers. I probably, or stokers, sure. I need four. Ah, ew. Um,
See, they thought you might be getting a smoker. <laughs> Look, no, they said smoked meat is calling to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyle, Kyle's talking trash to me. Ah. Uh, it would cost a total of eight bucks to get that. That's expensive. We have nine. I don't yeah. feel a need to do it quite yet, so I think I'm gonna wait. Okay. So pink will go advance. Pink's action will be to take a canal. They cannot, because blue is there. They will buy ship pieces. That they can do. They will do the zero row, which is the freebie, because they're not cheap. They're thrifty. That's pretty good. That'll work. All right. I forget. Have you ever played this? Yes. Okay. Way back in the day on the first edition. Yes. I played it on stream, actually, in Colorado. Really? Mm. Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, so that was pink. So now it's blue's turn. And blue will hire employees. Will y'all stop taking the, the stuff that gets money? <laughs> and it's going to advance it two. One, two. I guess we're not doing that now. Okay. So our turn. There. What do we do? We They still refuse to manufacture equipment and get that moving. That's really what I want them to do. They are not cooperating well at all. Um, that's it's like what you want is not on their radar. But yeah, right. Weird how that works. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's not super exciting, but we do want a canal eventually. Anyways, we need one. So I will go ahead and take the one that we've been eyeing. Spend the one that will come into our area there. Refill. And again, still not paying for the extra action yet. Because, honestly, I'm waiting for them to advance stuff to make stuff cheaper for us so that they do our heavy lifting. So, it's Pink's turn. Pink will buy a commodity. It will buy the freebie. I mean, again, thrifty, not cheap. Fisher friends, not food. So, blue now. They will sell commodities. This is not, y'all are not cooperating <laughs> even a little bit here. So that will advance. And now we shuffle and it's our turn. Oh, thanks, Paul. Stupid work. <laughs> All right, you cut. All right. So our turn. Uh, do we just bite the bullet and pay the two bucks? I think so. Fine. Well, oh, good news. We'll go ahead and manufacture equipment. Manufacturing equipment means that moves there. We get $2 because they were ahead of or behind, depending on your point of view, two. I'm just going to say keep it and go one, two. We get a cannon and then we get a cannon and a smokestack. So two cannons and a smokestack. That seems efficient. It was excellent. There we go. All right. Now this is becoming a good ship. It's getting ready to. Still need a stoker. Don't want to, in a perfect world, I want that action. So now I don't want them to hire and they can't until I leave that spot. So that's good. Or manufacture equipment, I mean. So Pink will hire an employee there. It will advance two steps. One, two. They're done. Now Blue will go. Blue will grab a canal. That'll be that one. These will slide, and we have the new one that comes out. Now it's our turn. Now what we're going to do, we are going to buy a second action. 
And we're going to take our second action first, which is going to be hire employee, or I'm sorry, manufacture equipment. So we will get a smokestack, which means we get another smokestack and a cannon. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's... Now, we can't choose that action, but we can choose anything else. And you know what? We need a, a stoker. So how about we do that? We'll grab one stoker with, you know, permission to grab the yes. stoker. And then we get two bucks for doing that. That's about as perfect in action as I could imagine doing in this game. <laughs> Tyler says, playing some Age of Innovation and watching on my lunch break. So are you playing it at home? Are you playing it online, Tyler? How are you doing that? I need more details here. So that's us. Now it's Pink's turn. You, you see how quick the turns go yeah. and how in that drop down. This is, yeah, this is really nice. Really easy. Now, cannot hire employees because we're there. They will take the far left available action. That is that. Now, it says, if you cannot take the action, draw another tile. So it doesn't mean work your way down. I would say it, draw another tile. Yeah. So here, it will equipment and it will advance one step going there. That was pink. Now, blue's turn. Oh, we cannot. That's a good reminder. That advances. We put another one in. And we haven't hit that next one. That's Blue. nice how that works. That, that is pretty good, isn't it? Mm. And we'll sell commodities. It can only move one spot there. Done. Our turn. Whoops. There. All right. Now what do we need? Uh, ship pieces are good. Because uh, we have everything we need now to be able to set sail one, two, three, four, five, six. We need, yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy ship pieces. And we're going to get two bucks for the privilege. So that's six bucks. So if we buy nothing but freebies, then we're good. We could take an extra action. Now, we do ideally would like a cannon mount, a smokestack mount, and that's it. So a cannon mount and a smokestack mount, that's those. Um, and they both have light. Yeah, that's okay. Fine. We won't take the extra action, but we will go ahead and take the free bow. So now, those will go there. We'll go and refill these real quick. And then we will uh, set sail for our first ship here. This is exciting. I'm glad you're here as a part of it, Jess. Let's see this. All right. So now, these are the three that we bought. Mm. We are going to just go ahead. Oh, it's a size five. <laughs> <laughs> I have... <laughs> Well, the good news is we still could choose that one. So we're gonna, we're, we're gonna pivot. So that one's gonna go away. That's gonna go right there. Size ship, three of them. Hey, look, all of a sudden that's a size ship, six ship. Yep. Now we need to load her up. So stoke him if you got him. That'll go in. Captain, he'll be out on the bow overseeing everything. We're gonna have a ton of cannons. This is a massive, fast, I don't know, maybe a frigate. We get to put on two smokestacks without mounts because of that. That. Mm -hmm. And then we can put on... Wrong mount. There. So there we go. We are ready to hit the, set, hit the road. So we will, when you have your first one, you don't count the first spot where you're going to place it. Now, we have to figure out what our base speed is. We have a stoker. We have a smokestack. Now, if we take a look on the shakedown cruise, you'll see up there that we have a base of four speed because we have a stoker and a smokestack base of four. We have one additional smokestack, so that's going to be a speed of five. Okay, cool. 
So we're moving at a speed of five. That's, that's moseying pretty good. So we are going to go one, two, three, four, five. Oh God, we need six. Yeah. Oh, check that. We, we have six. Have that's four, yeah. five, six. six. Yeah, I, I knew what I was doing. You, you, you knew it. So we make it that. to the very last spot. So it's a base of six. Mm -hmm. The blue ribbon, you're going to actually score based on the blue ribbon at the speed at which you hit it. We hit it at speed six because mm -hmm. we that was the sixth spot. So we're going to score six points for that. What? And then we get a score or we get a uh, points for our speed as well. So that's going to be six for our speed and six for the blue ribbon. Then we're going to score for every cannon and for every soldier on our ship one point. One, two, three, four more. And then we hit that lantern. For every lantern on our ship, we're going to score a point. That'll be three more. Uh, and then we're almost done, but not quite. We score one point for every person that is on the ship. Mm -hmm. Again, stokers are not people. They're propellers, so they're not a person. Don't, don't judge. And then we get two points for every crane and or uh, cannon that is on that ship. So that, that'll do. Okay, so we come back to it. One dude, propeller. So one, and then two, four, six, eight. That's another nine. Make it ten. That is a 28-point ship, y'all. What? Come at me. <laughs> Does that make you happy? Yeah. And when you do that three times, we officially win the game. That's our goal is three of those. Now, the problem is... Yeah, we, we don't have time to do all that three times. So, that ship has sailed, quite literally. Uh -huh. Thank you. And so, there you go. There's our our score. That that was a, that that might be the bit highest scoring ship I've ever built. Oh, we need to pay a buck for our ship piece, by the way. So we can't take an extra action. This ship literally has sailed. Pretty sure I've seen you score higher. Not that on a single good. ship. That was pretty good. That was, that. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Not going to lie. So that will move up. Yeah. Oh, don't mind they our off. falling off pieces. They just wanted to go first one. That's it, right? It's a beautiful day. <laughs> All right, so I believe we still had three of these, right? We have one, two, yes. three. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so there's our ship. All that stuff is used. And we have reached the end of our canal. So we're going to need another canal. We need more ship pieces. But we have smokestacks. Um... Unfortunately, if I put another one on, that would have been worth another three points. That was poor, poor thinking on my part, but that, yeah, so be it. But nonetheless, I'm pretty happy with that action. So that's our turn. It's Pink's turn. Pink is like, finally, our turn. Jeez, you're going to let us play. Going to buy shit pieces. Oh, no, he's not. Just kidding. Instead, he's like, fine, I'll buy a commodity. He'll buy the first commodity, which is that one. Slide. Refill and then blue. Oh, we will shuffle. There you go. What do you think? That's pretty good shit. That was a really good shit. Yep. All right, Jonathan, have a good one. See, everyone's excited to see you. See this, right? <laughs> Cut. Yep. Right there. Oh, good cut. All yeah. right, so blue, blue's turn. Will hire employees. Advance at one. Business person. There we go. Back to us. So so soon. Okay. We need a canal. Let's not overthink this. And a canal gets us a buck. Again, back to six. I would like the blue ribbon, but the blue ribbon is expensive. And I don't know if it's worth two bucks. Blue ribbon. Oh, hey, more cannons. We don't have any cannons nope. currently. I don't know if we bother with that. I don't know what the right answer is here. Um, there are a bunch of cannon mounts out there. 
Uh, I don't. That would be one, two, three, four, five. A speed of five, and the speed of five is two. Is it worth it? Is it? Yeah. All right. Fine. I will pay the two bucks. I talked myself into it. We will buy that one. So now, when we place this, or when we acquire this, we need to figure out where we're going. So we will go ahead and continue it this way. So we need one, two, three, four, five to maximize that. Yep. Speed of five is a Bram Stoker and a uh, and two uh, smokestacks. We have enough smokestacks, plus it gives us a set of those. That seems good. So we need a Stoker and we need ship pieces. Okay, that's our that's our goal. And we have four bucks. Uh, let's see, we paid two, and we got the buck for that. Yeah, we're good. All right, pink's up. Pink, gonna manufacture some uh, equipment. We'll advance that one. Well, now that you've done that, now we can get cannons, and we can get, that seems good. I mean, we could have done it, but we don't care about sales or manufacture or cranes so eh. blue blue will hire employees and again takes the one that gives them extra money <sighs> smart but doesn't mean i like it advances <laughs> two spots one two okay back to us that was there so now what do we do Ship pieces, kind of tasty. Uh, can't sell commodities, could get commodities. We don't need the captain. We will need the stoker. You know what? Let's not overthink it. Let's just grab ship pieces. I ran into this problem last night. If I over, don't, if I, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, hi, Alyssa. And so, ship hi, pieces. Uh, well, We'll spend a buck for a propeller mount, a.k.a. Stoker house. That's one. Um, let's go ahead and get that bow, because that's going to be... Oh, we don't necessarily need the mount, because we get two freebies. Mm -hmm. You know what? If we're going to do that, let's grab this one. That way, if we have four on there, it'll be worth an extra six points at the end of the game. And... Yeah, you know what? Let's get it anyways. We'll put that bad boy all the way at the end. So that's going to be a total of three bucks. Leaving us with one. Done. So we put them there two, four, six. So we work on that one. We still have two room, two, two spots to work on that one. We can figure it out. Uh, I'm okay with this. Pink goes. Pink will get another canal and it will take the second one. I should have refilled that. The second is that one. So that goes away. That advances and we go there. And now it's Blue's turn. Blue will buy a commodity. And it will be the first freebie there. Slide and refill. And it's back to us. And that will drop that in. All right, now what are we trying to do? We can't do commodities because we don't own any. Uh, we could get a captain, which would get us a buck. Not a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. More ship pieces. No, I mean, honestly, what I want is manufacture equipment. We will advance that there. That gets us two cannons and a smokestack. Cannon, cannon, smokestack. That seems good. Mm -hmm. And we get no money for that. That's us, Pink's turn. And this dropped in, so we will remove that. And by doing that, at the end of Pink's turn, we need to finally commit to our end game goals. So, it's good to have goals. 
it will go there. That will advance. Can't stop there, so it advances to that spot. Done. Blue. Oh, we have to commit. Hold on. So now we have a size ship six ship. We don't have any soldiers on that previous ship, so I think that feels pretty good, and that's a size ship, six. Those will go away. We had to discard because we are past that line. Good, done. Blue's turn. Whoop. Blue will buy some ship pieces, and we'll take the freebie. Oh, these will technically refill, but we're not gonna bother quite yet. Why? Because these are going to go away, and then we will slide and refill. Again, stern, two middles, there, everybody. That was, how many? 28, we're good. Didn't bump that too hard. So y'all following along? Is it making sense? Are you enjoying it? I mean, it's, to me at least, it's humming along. What do you think, Jess? It is. I feel like we're rocking and rolling through this thing. Mm -hmm. This might be the fastest solo of a, you know, a full-size game. Right. That... I've ever played like it takes more more time refilling things yeah. than it does taking the AI's actual turns which again pretty nice uh where did the just bought ship pieces so that was blue it is our turn we do we will need at least one more captain for sure um and it gets us a buck hell why not We'll go ahead there, grab a captain again with permission. There, and we get a buck because ahead of there, it is now Pink's turn. And it will take the far left action, cannot, so we shuffle. All right. Yeah, the action selection system's pretty great on this, Jonathan. Yeah, that, like, so. Uh, the guy, the guys were giving me crap on Saturday when we were punching this and putting it together. And by we, I mean them. Because I was like, okay, look, this is extraneous. And they're like, do you not, do you not love fun? Yeah, do you and, not like joy? Yeah, this is amazing. And, and I was like, okay, that's pretty good. No, It's great. And again, this, this is legitimately functional. This, this is good. And even with my giant hands, they fit in here. Or like, say, Kyle's giant hands. They would fit in here, yeah. so that would work. And it has a cover that latches. The latch sucks. It is not a good system for that, but outside of that, the rest of it's pretty good. Would you like to cut, man? Oh, good God. All right. <laughs> All right, pink will do the far left action. They tried to do that. No, they won't. They will take another canal. The canal will be the first one. That'll be that one. Slide. Done. And now blue. They will buy ship pieces. And they will buy, again, the thrifty version, or row. That's somewhat not really even close at all. Sorry. There. Okay. Looking at what they left out there, there's some tasty pieces. But I can't take that action right now unless I buy it as a second action, which I cannot. I don't have the six guilders. So we will not. That will advance. What do we want to do? We need cannon mounts. Wow, there's only one cannon mount right there. Okay. Well, we don't need... Well, I guess there's one on the stern, but we don't need them. They would just be nice because we're going to hit the cannon spot on that. Employees. Well, I mean... Fine. That. And we'll get two bucks for the privilege of doing that. And the reason for that... I mean, it's right there. So now we don't need cannon mounts for the first two. I mean, might as well. That's good planning. Yeah, I mean, it, it worked out and it paid us for the privilege. Yeah. So why not? Pink's turn. And it doesn't require a ton of thought on that. Oh, employees, sorry, we just got it. Neener, neener, neener. 
there, and that will be that one will go away. I love that you're neener, neener, neener in the AI. Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I will thumb my nose in their general direction. Absolutely, I will do that. I have no qualms. They would do the same to me. So, employees, it will advance or manufacture. That one kind of sucked. Mm. That I was about to just do. Boo on you. All right. That eater, eater, eater came back. Yeah, it did. See? <laughs> See, they did do it. It was implied. Mm. Uh, you know... We have enough to sail now, just about. So why don't we just go ahead and grab the ship pieces. And it almost doesn't matter what we get. Really? Yeah, because we have enough of everything. And I think we're going to be able to get a second, a third ship out. So here, we're just going to take the freebies. So those three... And I will refill these real quick, or else I'm going to forget. And the AI will just stare at me uncomfortably like, we have no hands. Could you help? Ironically, they use the same voice that Lincoln does, so it's, oh. it's weird. I don't understand it exactly, but... All right, so here are the three pieces that we got. That is a size five. We will not do that. But what we will do mm. is there... There, that is three, four, five, six. We will put that there. And now this is ready to rock. So now it doesn't need this many mounts, but it has room for six smokestacks and it has room for two cannons. And we need a stoker. Okay, so the stoker should be the priority, I think, at this point. So that's us done. Pink. Pink will... Hire an employee. Mm. Oh, well done you. Hi he'll hire a soldier. So now it's set up for us yeah. for a stoker. If we can do it as an additional action because we can't afford or we can't because he just took it. Yeah. So we need to be able to wait to do that. So now it's Blue's turn. And Blue would like to sell commodities because and get the extra two bucks yeah, theoretically. So and that will go commodities there. Done. Okay. There we go. Cut. Excellent. <laughs> All right. So that was Blue's turn for the commodities. So it's now back to us. Oh, oh, we can't advance it. So now yeah. we have three actions left. This and two more, and then we get to be able to buy additional action, and then a final action where we can do anything regardless of who's there, and then we can buy a single ship piece after that. So what that tells me is we need, we might not need a canal, but we definitely are going to need ship pieces and probably smokestacks out of all that. So... The key is getting a third size six ship. So we have, we're, we're a third of the way to the last one and we're two thirds of the way to the second one. So that feels okay. I feel like we're in a good space. We cannot buy ship pieces because we've already done that. Uh, hiring employees at this point, I don't think we really need to do. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, these employees. Hiring crew, we do, but we cannot because that's been selected. So I'll be honest. The only other thing that even remotely makes sense, maybe, is we could manufacture equipment, which would give us a cannon, a smokestack, and a needless crane. We may use the crane in the last ship, maybe not for a couple extra points. Or we get a commodity, and the commodity would then basically allow us to get a free action. I don't think that's great, so I think doing that, and at least we're going to be able to use those things, so I think that makes sense. So, it's not worth spending the extra two bucks to get two cannons. So we'll just go there. 
So it's going to be a crane, a smokestack, and a cannon. See, it's funny. It's all fun and games <laughs> until that last cube goes down. Then you're like, uh-oh, do I have enough actions to do everything I need? So we'll find out if we do this right. Pink goes. They will take the far left. They cannot. They will buy ship pieces because, again, they feel the same uh, stress that we do. That, oh, wow, are we ready for the game to end? No, we better buy some ship pieces. Yeah. Again, I heard him talking about yeah, that. Yeah, see, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You get me. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, I do want cannon mounts. So, for sure. So, that was pink, and now it's blue. Blue will hire employees and get those extra points. Okay, done. It will advance that two. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see, that is that one. So two there. Okay, our turn. We have two actions left. This and one more, I think, is how that works out. Now, we may need another canal. I'm not sure. But the canal will get us two bucks, which gets us an extra action if we want it. Mm -hmm. However, we also need a stoker. Or a smoke. Yeah, a stoker. I don't know what the right answer is here. I was, I was waiting for you to decide. Stoker or the two bucks? The fact that he hasn't chosen that action yet. Yeah. No, I think we get what we have to have, which is Bram. And we forego the two bucks. Hopefully, I just got that. That was, that was good. <laughs> hopefully we uh we get away with that. I'm glad you glad you <laughs> it took that. Me a We've second. been doing that since Saturday. That's great. Yeah. So. Oh, takes a canal. Okay, so there's that, and that'll be the first one that one that goes away she's like why is he calling him bram i don't get it. stoker oh I, I saw the thought bubble yep, yep. the process of how that went manufacture equipment there and that will advance it two. Oh, one, two. now yeah let's let's figure this out Oh, I was wrong. We get one more after this. Okay. We could buy a commodity. We can't sell a commodity. We could buy ship pieces. Now, we need ship pieces to be able to sail. Absolutely. We really do. That is the most important thing. Because I think not, it would like, sink. Yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah. Broken That's keel. But no, out. not so much. All right. So, we will go ship pieces. In a perfect world, I would like cannon mounts. I guess we're not going to take the extra action is what this tells me because we need cannon mounts. Yeah. yeah. So that, that, mm -hmm. and then maybe, no, it's not worth spending the money. I don't think so. We will. We'll go there. Mm -hmm. That is going to be a total of three bucks. And we will refill this. We're still in the ones, by the way. I don't think we're going to get through the ones. All right. So three bucks. And now these two. We get two free, don't we? You do get two free. There and there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That checks out. We do have our extra crane. Yeah, that works. All right. So we get two free. Bram will man the stern because what is he? That's right. He's a propeller. So the cannon in the back, we get two free on this. We might as well do that 
and that. Uh, we get two free cannons. There, there. Oh, but the only thing is, now they're in sets of three. Yeah, no, that works out. And we have to have, oh, Captain, my Captain. So that is ready to sail. That is going way too fast, potentially. <gasps> then we need, okay, so we have two actions left, right? Yeah. That and that, and we have a captain. It goes slow, but I think it works. Yeah, let's call it good. I think this is right. So that makes it a speed of four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Yep, that works. That's legit. And we don't have a mount for that. So be it. So it's a speed of seven, which means it's going to be worth seven points. Speed of seven is one, two, three, four, five at the speed when we cross it, six, seven. Going that way. We hit that. So it's a, pay, a point per cannon. That's three. Mm -hmm. A point per dude on there, again, propeller. Four. We got that for the speed. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. That looks like 22 points mm -hmm. for that ship. 22 puts us at 50, the goal of 80. That works. Now, I said we have two actions left. Now this ship has sailed. There. Here is what we have left. Every ship must have a canal. Every ship must have a captain. We have a captain. We don't have a canal. <laughs> we have two actions left. We need three ship pieces and a canal. Yes. Well, I guess we know what we're shooting for so that was our turn it is now pink's turn like finally dude i know i know don't somehow summary i guess he just really wants money okay so he's going to take a commodity he's going to take the first commodity oh got to shuffle him up good enough marcus is going to sand his iron clays for grouping us oh i like doesn't. that Apparently doesn't have my grippy fingers. Yeah, right. Frog fingers, I do right? Frog fingers. Or you know, you could just go ahead and get. Oh wait, no, you can't. Never mind. Sorry. That yeah, you can't get. Not, I, that was not nice. I, I I tease them all the time about that. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> so blues action is going to sell commodities again. You all must be short on money, I guess. Okay. They just there. want an extra action, then, but they're saving up. Right. All right. So now it's our turn. This is the last time we can purchase an extra action. Doesn't look good for us. All right. So uh, I said we need canals, right? Whoop. We have a buck. <laughs> we are going to go very, very slow, but we might, we might be able to hit the blue ribbon. So this is now... Gonna pivot around. What is that? Pivot! <clears throat> so, and it can come in any direction. It will come in that way, going there. And that one is done. Big wins. <laughs> All right, so we have gotten our canal. That cost us one buck. You get double boot. I think that was valid. Oh. Sorry, Marcus, that was fair. <laughs> yeah, the texture on these is really good. Oh, okay, so I'm, 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 yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, pink stern. Officially, that ends it. So, the, everybody will take their last actions, but it doesn't matter at this point because we get to take an action that is any of those. Mm. Okay? I guess maybe it might from a standpoint. No, it does. Because it will move things around. Right. So there, and it's going to move one. That will move. We will shuffle. All right, cut last time. And blue. Blue's action is they will 
manufacturer equipment that can't move that's there that will go there it will move there all right so now they are done they will not do anything else what we can do is we can choose any of the available actions. Obviously, we're going to choose ship pieces. We can buy up to three, although we do not have to because after we're done with this, we then can purchase one for one ship piece if it will complete a ship. So looking at this, in a perfect world, getting a crane would be great. Okay, so there's that one. We need a stern, or we just actually just take that one. Yeah, let's just do it. We'll just do this. All right, so that's our action. We're only going to take two. And again, just to show, okay, there. These will then refill. That's the key. And then we can purchase one free piece. So, hey, if we wanted, we could come and purchase that like so. Mm -hmm. All right, so then if you completed a ship and you can only choose a piece if you've completed a ship or if it will complete a ship, that is a size six. It has a captain. It has a smokestack. And hey, it has a crane. We'll go ahead and put that on the back door. All right, so now what is our speed? That is a good question. I haven't figured that out. Every ship, has a base speed of one. And then for every pair of smokestacks, it would go another speed, another one. Unfortunately, we're just moving one. <laughs> that sucks. I yeah. really thought I really thought uh, it was gonna go two. Because if it went two, you get that. We we either get the two points for that or the two points for the blue ribbon. So here's our speed. One. And then we get points for places we cross. Okay, done. Then we get points for people that are on there. Done. And then we get two points per crane. So that is a four point ship. That is a pile of ship. That's all that is. <laughs> They're done. And that has sailed, that thus ends the game. So now we go into final scoring. So final scoring will be any points that we have on these, that is zero. Okay, done. And then we count these. All right. Well, we got our three ships of six size, so we get 17 points for that. 17 puts us at 21. Uh, what's What was the goal? 80. We're at 71. I'm just saying we're at 71. And now... Three per pair of smokestacks. Zero. One. Two. Three. That would be nine points by my count, I think, right? Nine? Yes. Nine? What, what's, what's 21 and nine? That would be 30. 30 and 50? That's 80. Yeah. What? <laughs> Kyle didn't think I'd win. Mm. 80 points on the dot. Victory narrow but the pros don't ask how <laughs> they ask did you win the answer is yes cheers to me mm -hmm. well done wait it was your cutting what did the it, ai say are they, huh are they disgruntled yeah they're just <laughs> they're staring what, at you what wait what was it what glory to rome no <laughs> that's rude <laughs> that, that came from pink by the way that oh. Was, okay. Oh. okay blue was like just that's fine. Good game. Fist bump? All right. Yeah, cool. I appreciate it. But poor loser pink. All right. Seriously. Um, Look, that's about as good of an AI, like, as far as to run. Gets in your way. Pisses you off. The hardest thing about this game in the solo is remembering to do this for this uh, the Automas as well as this. This is obvious. Oh, I got to do their action. Oh, did I move that? That is the easiest thing to forget. And that is the timer of the game. So you can't really afford to miss that. No. Um, so take your time. Now, obviously I was humming through this, like I was flying through this, but you can see that it, that it moves super easy. Look, it's a 15 year old game. It's one of my favorites of all time. It's definitely my favorite Suchi game. And I think the new production's great. Uh, definitely go watch 
the beginning of last night's stream, the four players, so you know how to put things together and what pieces not to throw out. <laughs> And I literally had to go into the trash. Yeah, like, oh, that, I mean, that yeah. happens. So that yeah, that so happens. do that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's a great game. Highly recommend it, and both for solo and multiplayer, it plays great. One through four, I've played it across all of it now, and uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool challenge, and it's super easy to run. So if you want just a nice, easy, chill Tuesday afternoon kind of game, definitely can recommend Ship here. Mm -hmm. There you go. So big thanks to Jay and everybody over at Rio for sponsoring the stream. Thanks to all the patrons support the show. If you want to become a patron, check it out. Patreon.com forward slash HGHQ. Just look down, Jess. Okay. Look down. Straight down. No, look down. There you go. Right See? There? Right, 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 there. right there. There it is. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash HGHQ. Certainly appreciate that, y'all. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We will be back tonight. And by we, I mean me and three of the dudes to finish Weimar. That is hanging out right there. I precariously stacked it up so we have it saved from last Wednesday or Thursday, whatever night that was. So join us tonight, six and a half hours from now, give or take. Uh, I'm Edward. I'm Jess. All right, y'all have a good night. Take care, everybody.